Good morning. Hello. It's Monday. I don't know what the date is, but we know it's Monday. Maybe the 22nd? Maybe. Maybe. That, that sounds about it right. Matter. It's embarrassing. Anyway, we just packed up everything because we're about to go dump. Um, so a lot of people don't talk about the ugly part of RVing is that you have to dump your own waste. Yeah. And the camps that we're staying at, um, we don't have a sewer outlet at our site. So we have to go dump. Yeah. Which is actually pretty common in um, a lot of older places and then a lot of places that offer more of a campsite like this that's out in the, I don't know, it's not really the wilderness, but it's out. I guess by the lake and everything because yeah, most of the ones it's not I been like at, cleared off yeah and... so it's more along the lines of what people consider camping anyway yeah. um behind us where the actual um rv park is they have like everything that's more like a little city they're like permanent though permanent yeah. residents it's not like a come and go camping yeah but they don't even call that camping you can't they have their own little no, they're residential. <laughs> yeah it's a residence so you can't compare the two but we get to dump because we have a dump site here so we're about to go do that yeah we just undid everything and we figured we would show you how we set back up and then just take you around to Aaron day we've already set the truck up hitched and latched and everything we raised the jacks Oh, that right there. We got to roll off of this. It's just a leveler because the ground leans a little bit. We're taking the water and the electricity off. We're taking everything down here. Move the stuff in. Close the door. Move the chocks. We're ready to go. setting up I have a little I don't know like a little holder for the hose that's going down and we just set up the water <laughs> <laughs> that's a thumbnail sticky <laughs> <laughs> sticky All right. Round one. Oh wow, you can see I'm blowing up. Ew. Gross. It's disgusting. You always release your black lever first and let it completely flush and then release the gray lever and then let it flush your poop out. <laughs> What you doing up there, girl? You can see everything. Yep. <laughs> She's like, I'm not short anymore, Mom. I'm tall. Good. We put this side up on little stacks here. This will level the tire out. Have a leveler here in the center, and we just from a few times we know 
That way it's level side to side. And I got these pox here for the ones not on the yellow, the yellow stacks. This is Proven Industries lock. Um, I wish you could feel how heavy it is. It's, it's solid, solid steel. steel. So heavy. It's a good paperweight. You put your chains in around the ball hitch so then it can sit up in your tongue. You lock it down and then that is stable. It's stable and lock. Then you put this around so no one can like break it off or anything and then it. You want to line this up? So then that locks up. And then this. Oh man, messed it up here. This is the actual lock yeah. mechanism of it. And this is all steel, but you can't get to the inside because it's going to connect to this. So it's steel, but it doesn't matter this part. You won't be able to undo it. So put it on here like that, through there like that. Damn it. What the hell? This is locked here. That there, and that's the part. This is the part that releases this, so that's like. But you won't be able to get into yeah, that you anyway. Into you can't cut through it or anything, so it's a little pricey, but I think well worth it since our camper is so small that anything could probably tow it. So yeah, we love that. We tethered Macy here, so she could go play in the shrubs. It's a pretty day out today. I'm not looking at the camera to talk. Okay. I'm putting the stabilizers down. It touched in the back. Give it some support where it's stronger and flatter. Housekeeping. What? Is this some good old housekeeping? Yeah. We're walking on gravel. Gross. You get nothing but dirt. Oh, Can you sweep that? Mm This is lunch for us. We wanted to eat a lighter lunch because we are having hamburgers tonight. You can tell the difference between our salads. This is Leah's salad and this is my salad. Anything to say, Leah? Yeah. She make me eat all the chicken because I need more protein. Oh, yeah. That's chicken. Yeah. She needs protein. I have turkey. And we got carrots for snacks, for signs. You want to head outside? Have lunch. That way, Maxie can sit outside of the sun. Where is she? Oh, there she is. <laughs> yeah, you like it out here. 
I'm always trying to come up with good ideas to help Leah to eat protein. But she's like a little kid because she's <laughs> sneaky. So what does she do? She's feeding Macy some of her vegetables. She cucumbers. calls Macy over and she's like, come here Macy, I got some cucumbers for you. Okay, that's fine. She takes a cucumber, hides a piece of chicken underneath it so that I won't, don't see it, but of course I see it. Then she's like, oh, here you go, here's your cucumber. Feeds it to Macy. I'm just looking at her. And then I said, I saw what you did. <laughs> she needed some protein too. Macy gets enough protein, Macy gets enough food. Leah is sneaky and she's like a little <laughs> child. But I'll eat my carrot. Macy eats carrot. What? Come on, I can't see Macy. Oh, no, I see. Is that too big? We just had our showers, so we're getting everything ready um, to go do laundry. We just took showers at the facility since we just emptied our tanks. Yeah. Just to have them last a little bit longer. It's nice to have a lot of elbow room. Yeah, it is. It's really big showers. It's huge really, showers. Really strong water, really warm water yeah. most of the time. I actually don't mind taking a shower in our shower. It's actually pretty nice. Yeah. But if I had to choose, this is pretty cool. And we were going to be over here anyway, um, doing laundry. So I figured I'll we'll just take a shower. Yeah. So we're going to get laundry together. House detergent. What Pod pods. That? I'm just joking. <laughs> what are they? Are they bad joke? Oh yeah, they they're are. Kirkland's. Uh, Unstoppables. There's so many more. They come every day about sunset. It's what, six o'clock? We just got home, we got laundry done. Um, what else do we do? Took Maxie to the dog park. And my cousin Kirsten called and we got our mail taken care of. We opened mail, went through mail, and she's sending us some stuff, so that's pretty awesome. Faith's getting the grill ready so we can make burgers. Some sweet potatoes cooking. Stuff for burgers, a little bit of wine. We're drinking out of a Morpheus cup because um, we don't have wine glasses. <laughs> Kate's making burgers. We got uh, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, puffed with eggs, mushrooms, and a sweet roll. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Oh, like you cook burgers for a living or something. <laughs> These monster burgers. The tomatoes were a little bit bigger than the burger. Isn't that funny? Then we're sharing a sweet potato. But I guess that's it for the errands day. Um, we've added some more things to do tomorrow on the errands list. Um, our windshield has been cracked umpteen times on the way here. And yesterday, we were driving down the interstate and a rock hit and literally like there's a chunk of took a chunk there. out so and then we found another one anyway we have a lot so we need to call insurance get that checked out but that was it for a big errand day all right so we'll see you next video bye